we're getting into still our, you know, exploring this idea of real life to cartooning, right? And that whole bridging that gap between that. Janet O made her own comic, very sweet. So Janet, that's a good segue because we're building into making our own comic. Now, remember we kind of did our own little animated short thing and we kind of did a flip book and all that kind of good stuff. This is more on doing like a one frame comic and then building on to a story of creating something a little bit more robust. Still in that drawing real life and then drawing cartooning. I know Tater Tot, this is, right? That's a lot of people. So I'm excited to see everybody. Um, we're gonna do plant creatures today, right? So I've got, the picture on the site is of a Venus flytrap, which is kind of lends itself very easily to making a creature. But the whole idea of what we're gonna get into today is drawing plants. Like I'm gonna do a Venus flytrap. You can draw whatever you would like to do. So you have like a reference image. And then we're gonna transform that thing. Maybe it's a sunflower and it becomes this, I don't know, monstrosity that eats cars or something. You're gonna to have to figure that out. So we're gonna translate that into the plant monsters, right? And creating those things. And we're gonna build on that for Thursday when we do lots of lemmings. Oh, our army of lemmings. Um, so we're gonna draw a real lemming and then we're gonna turn them into this concoction of who knows what. Multiple lemmings with different powers. So I like lemmings, they're fun. So what I wanted to do today in our, in our fashion is if you're new to the class, uh, welcome, first of all, thank you for joining. And today is real life drawing. So we're gonna draw some real life and then we're gonna do a cartoon version of that. But we always start off with a cartoon and almost always it's a Chuck Jones cartoon. So I wanna do oh, this. Real very... quick, Sophie has her hand up. Yes, Sophie. Um, I missed out a lot of day, right? No, 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 you didn't because we didn't, we did like, everybody changed their name to Scott something. And, uh, and I think we showed a logo of what Max did for like a t-shirt, but that's it. You didn't miss a lot of Scott today. We're going to do that in September. And it's going to be- I was wondering if I could show something I made. Yes, of course you can. So I made this Scott t-shirt. What? It has too many bricks on it though. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I helped that's awesome. Uh, way to go, Dad. That's awesome. I love the glow, like the neon sign, because, because Scott is a beacon of light in a, in a back alley somewhere. So I love, that's awesome. Way to, go, way to go, Dad. Way to go, Sophie. I totally dig that. Sophie gave you major props, Dad, on being an awesome uh, screen print dude and, and creative in your own right. So it's cool to I, think. I think I have some neon behind me, actually, somewhere. It, you, yes. So maybe we just need to go... Zzz, right <clears throat> and get that in a, I know tater tot in a back alley somewhere it was just it's a dark brick wall what are you gonna do I didn't mean back alley in a bad way I meant it illuminates things that's all Scott is an illuminator all right so let's get into drip along Daffy and to give you a little context in this this is the very first character of Chuck's that I ever drew when I was in high school and I got my Chuck and Muck book his biography and this was the first drawing and it was drip along Daffy it's a funny cartoon Scott when you're ready sir go Wait. ahead and roll it Today is rabbit seasoning. I'm sorry, you're right, it's rabbit seasoning. Thursday is trip along. This is gonna be like when, when Liliana and Heather Rose <laughs> called me out on the wrong cartoon and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about and then they were totally right. So sorry, rabbit seasoning. Uh, it's part of my all time favorite trilogy in rabbit seasoning and then my all time favorite which is rabbit fire. All right, so let's get in it today. Yeah, the detachable bill. I think that's the funniest part in all of those films is the fact that his bill can go all over the place and he can still talk. And all he has to do is twist it right back around. And I don't even know how he fits it on his head when it's a V, but that's Chuck. All right, so let's get into uh, plant creatures, right? And getting into real life and how we then translate that to our own cartoon figures. So do you all have a reference image of a plant? It can be any plant. Just a yes, I see a lot of yeses, a lot of thumbs up, any plant. Can it be a made up plant? Um, well, it can be when we get to the cartoon side of it. But for this one, I want you to pick something real. All right, so I've got the, I've got the um, uh, Venus fly trap that I put. Yes, Olivia, I see a hand up. I'm gonna do a cactus. Ooh, 
very good. I like the cactus. So to Olivia's point, it can be any plant. She's going to do a cactus. I'm going to do a, uh, what am I going to do? I'm doing a Venus flytrap. You can do any type of flower, plants, you know, what are you ever going down with? So let's get into like the first thing. And then we have, I have a full screen of people. So what I want to do when we're all finished with this is kind of what we did last time. Ooh, Olivia, that's cool. I dig that. So Olivia is going to do some life drawings some still life right in front of her. I want everybody to remember at the end, we're going to hold up all our drawings so we can do one big screenshot. All right. So let's get into, let's get into uh, it. Got their stuff. Yes. Uh, can we use um, like a live or something like a flower that's in our house for reference maybe? You absolutely can. It can okay. be, can be a picture or something that's right in front of you. Okay. Then I have mine. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with, Real life. So last time when we were kind of breaking down human form and, you know, learning how to map that, that out based on where eye placement was and those kind of things, today's going to be a little bit different. Um, so I've got my Venus flytrap image, which is, which is this. So this is my image from that I had up on the website. So this is the one that I'm going to do. We're going to see if I can map that out so the whole idea of what you guys want to do remember to keep your lines very light to start yes tater tot it's okay if you do a mushroom because technically it's a fungus but it's kind of like a plant and you could do something cool with it so you're fine go for the fungus so um remember and what we're doing in in real life drawing is to keep our remember simple shapes right so here i'm gonna move i'm gonna move this down like this so that you guys can see what I'm referencing in my, on my iPad and I'm just gonna sketch in this little area here. Can the plant be at any angle or does it have to be a straight? Can be any angle, okay. any angle at all. The whole idea is we wanna draw it real life first, however that angle is, and then we will take that and transform it into a creature. Okay. All right, so I like simple shapes, right? And, and remember like last time in human form and, and animals, when we did uh, the skunk and we did the cat, we broke it down into simple shapes. So my simple shape for my, my um, Venus flytrap is gonna look something like this and something like this, right? And I just kind of have two ovals to start. Is that a little hard to, Scott, is that fuzzing out a little bit? I can see it, but it's very faint. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it light for the moment and then I'm going to go back in and I'll darken it up with my pencil here in a second. So it'll get a little bit darker. Okay. Um, all right. So I've got, I've got this and remember too, when you're, when you're sketching out, um, Try to use, try not to use your wrist like this a lot when you're just getting your lines down. Lock your wrist and use your elbow and your shoulder. You'll be able to have straighter, uh, well, more accurate lines. I'm gonna put them that way. Whether they're straight or not, you'll be able to have more accurate lines. All right, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this over. I'm just gonna sketch real light to start. Let me get this down. And then this dude over here will do one more. Notice also when I'm sketching. So if you're if you're newer to a Chuck Jones in your homes program, uh, when we're sketching, we're usually keeping things fairly light and loose. Here, I'm going to move this out of the way because I think that's disrupting the. There we go. So we like to keep things pretty light and loose um, as we draw. And then we'll go back in later and darken in our final lines. So as you're, as you're rolling here on your plant, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start to pick some, start to pick some final lines. Um, it is also very good to see so many people that I haven't seen since what june when i did the last one and even like last july and again if you are new welcome thank you guys for joining us this is a weekly or a daily occurrence every week 
All right, so I'm gonna start picking my final lines, right? And, and roughing those in a little bit darker with my pencil. And I'm still keeping this kind of light, even with my pencil, because I will pick my final line later when I darken everything up. And I'll worry about shading at that point also. So if you have color today, you can do that. I'm gonna go straight black and white. You are absolutely correct. We kind of are making plants versus zombies. <laughs> and maybe mine will be the one. I don't know about you, but I usually don't put the chomper in there unless I have the bucket heads or the uh, pole vaulters so that he can at least eat that. And it kind of frees up my other guys behind him, like my freeze, my freeze plants or my double shooters. Look at that. See, did you know that I knew about I know what the kids are into, Scott. I'm impressed. Uh, thank you. And I was, I was hoping you would chime in and say something like that because it makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Oh, all right. Well, so, at, at least, at least <laughs> Scott knows. At least Scott knows. Uh, also, to give you a tiny preview, next, next month, seeing as that now we're in August, next month um, and as school starting, we do have, I think there's been a bunch of people already that have signed on to the, yes, you can draw two plant characters, Janet. There's been a bunch of people that have signed on to the, uh, or onto the form that have just filled out the form, letting us know um, what days and times work best. And that is gonna be uh, very important as we next week are figuring out what kind of class schedule we're going to do. Uh, like what days and what times work average out the best for everybody. So while it, I realize it might not be ideal for everyone, but it'll, it'll kind of cover the most. Um, so we're going to figure that out. And if you are anything like my kids, they thought they were going to do a hybrid learning and now they are going all e-learning for some. So even that changes on a regular basis, uh, different time zones. Yeah. So it, it we kind of have like the Pacific time zone. Like I'm in central cause I'm in, in the Chicagoland area. Um, but we're kind of averaging it out based on who's where, what works best for everybody during the day. Whose birthday is tomorrow? Catatot, Sabertot and Laura Tot. Well, which one of you is your birthday tomorrow? As a cat. It's Laura. All right, it's Laura's birthday tomorrow. So I think Nayleen's class is tomorrow, which means if we if you don't if you don't get to sing happy birthday tomorrow, um, we'll have to do that on Thursday. All right, so remember in, in our lines, right, as we're as we're kind of and I'm gonna go around the table here in about five minutes just to see if anybody wants to show progress on where they're at. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop at about 135. And we're going to switch to doing our cartoon version of these, like our plant creatures. So my, mine kind of looks like he's, there we go, little tassels. All right. Ben, do you know the character Audrey too? Um, I do not. Who is that? From Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, no, you know, I don't because I have not watched that in forever. Okay. It's the, do, the man eating plant. Yes. Well, I know that. That's, what I, that's, that, that's the reference I was thinking about instead of plants versus zombies, just because I'm old. <laughs> well, what is his name? Is it, does it, is it like, it's not Seamus, is it? The plant? Uh, no, the plant's name is Audrey too. Oh, it is. It's named after Seymour's that's girlfriend, it. Audrey. Seymour. Yes, Seymour. I, yeah. There was a movie. Are you talking about the movie or the cartoon? Uh, the movie. Yes. I remember the movie. I haven't seen it in forever. Oh, it's so good. It freaked me out <laughs> the first time I saw it, just with that giant plant. 
All right. So the importance of real life drawing, why is it important to draw real life stuff? Because as Chuck Jones would say, the better you can do a real life drawing and drawing what's in front of you, um, the better your cartooning skills. And he would have people that would come in and want to be animators in his unit. And they would show him, you know, stuff with Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and all that kind of stuff, which is great. But their life drawing wasn't very strong. So they did not, they couldn't, you know, in animating and cartooning, you're kind of acting with your pencil, right? Well, they couldn't understand poses and, you know, um, uh, that's what I'm looking for, proportions and that kind of thing. So what Chuck would say is he could take somebody with a life who had very strong life drawing skills. So just like we're all doing today, he could do, he could do that, um, you know, what we're doing. And then he could take someone who could do this really well and he could teach them how to draw and animate Bugs Bunny. So he, he was always looking for the life drawing skills first. Does Tater Tot have, I don't know Tater Tot, I think you, I think you've always had an army. Also, if you are new to the class today, there are about 20 plus that have been doing this since almost April, I wanna say. So welcome to the club as we all have fun and enjoy and create some things. I am gonna do a, a lot of Scott a day in September, as I mentioned. It's gonna be the biggest, baddest lot of Scott a day ever. Max has already created a kind of a logo. I see Sophie's created an awesome t-shirt design. I think I'm gonna to have to purchase one of Sophie's t-shirts from her dad and have it shipped to Scott so that he may wear it the entire day. Scott is a celebrity, Evie, you are absolutely correct. All right, so as we're kind of wrapping up our life drawing, right? It's just drawing, mine's kind of easy, I suppose. Um, but as we're doing the real life versions of our plants, I'm gonna go around the table and if anybody would like to show progress on where they're at and then in about five minutes we're going to switch gears and do the cartoon version so if you want to put your digital blue hand up if you don't know where that is go ahead and put in a comment and scott and i can see that i can see some hands already all right scott i'm going to let you control where we go as i'm working on my piece here to finish up okay uh, first hand I saw was Olivia. Olivia, welcome back. Dude, I love your cane. You, wow, you got color in there quick, too. Nice job. Well done, Olivia. Love the still life. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's All right, see. Scott, where are we going? Uh, now? now we have Liliana Tot and Heather Rose Tot. <laughs> I dig it, man. Look at that. That's a whole pot of flowers. Oh, dude. You did a still life from the house. That's awesome. Well done, ladies. You're By the way, nice. my son would absolutely love the stegosaurus behind you. Wow, look at that. Love the leaves and the flowers. Well done, man. I also like the fact that it, you did it kind of from an angle up top a little bit instead of just straight on. That was cool. Thank Very you. nice, ladies. Absolutely. Here's Sophie. Hey, dude. Oh, okay, so this is what I drew. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm not good at drawing realistic stuff. That's okay. It's all just practice. I think you've done a great job. It looks cool. I love the coloring on it also. You know what it reminds me of since we're talking about like plants versus zombies is you know when you're doing the nighttime one and you have the little the little tiny guys um, that are light mushrooms, you know, they, have, they, they emit the little light thing. That's what that reminds me of. All right, Scott. Going to tater tot tot. Tater tot tot. Love it. Thank you. I like the fact that it's either a child or a younger sibling. <laughs> 
Very cool, man. Well done, Thanks. David. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Here's Janet. Um, I did a pitcher plant. Sweet. I like the bee. Is that a bee or a fly? Um, I don't really care. I just made it out to be a fly, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a small winged bug creature. That's awesome, man. Way to go, dude. Well done. Got Amelia, you. Nice Minecraft background. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a just just a minute. Yeah, there. Okay, so here's mine. Oh, I don't know what it's called in English, but in Spanish it's a flor de loto. Wow, that is. There's a lot of petals in that. Yeah. So, so what color is that? Is that plant normally? It's normally white with okay. some pink or purple or blue. Very cool. The center is yellow. And that's awesome, man. Way to go. I love the I love the petals and how they work themselves all the way around. Nice job on that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else, Sir Scott? As we get into phase two. All right, let's get into phase two. So we've got our kind of real life examples right of what we did and now we're going to get into our plant creatures so here's my here's my realistic version of things i don't have any shading or anything in they're pretty simple in their construction right um missy oh, yes can. sorry to interrupt i see missy's hand yes hey dude well i tried to draw a sunflower and it's a realistic <gasps> Ooh, yes I didn't get to finish it all the way though. That's okay. I dig what you're doing with the petals and, and especially that centerpiece is very cool. Is it, are you like taking an example of what you have right there next to you? Uh, well, but I don't know. I tried to do this one right here, but that was like too many petals for me. <laughs> that is a lot of petals. But you are absolutely right. Flower online. Excellent. Good job, man. All right, thank you, Missy. All right, so we've got, we've got our plant creatures, right? So I'm, I'm gonna go with my Venus flytrap and I am gonna make it a, since I have three in here, I'm gonna make it triplets. They're gonna be on one body. All right, so as, as we do this, usually when I start off, like I have my pencil and then I've got my blue line pencil. You can use whatever color you want. Right, but I'm going to get into the whole idea is to exaggerate. Oh, wait, elite puppy. Yes, let's see yours. Hey, buddy, Hi. holy, did you all do all that right now? Yeah, dude, that's incredible. I love it. That's impressive, man. You got a lot of work done real quick. Very good. Thank you, sir. Here's Daya. All right. Hey, man. Welcome. Oh, yes. I love the plant and the pot. Very nice. Are you ready to get into your plant creature? Thumbs up. Or <laughs> All right. All right, let's get into this. Um, two, if you guys see, if we, if we don't see you uh, or we haven't called in and you would like to, feel free to pop a comment in and then uh, Scott will catch it or if I'm looking up, I'll catch it. All right, so I'm going to get Actually, I, I see Kat's hand. All right, Kat. Yes. Laura, actually. Laura, um, okay. Oh, Laura. I'm drawing cacti. Dude, that looks fantastic. That's Sarah Beth. That is Sarah Beth. Hi, Sarah Beth. Welcome. Hi. Awesome, dudes. Very cool. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, so let's get into it. Now remember, plant creatures, this, this can look however you want it to. I am gonna start off with a tiny pot down here. And when I'm doing my plant creatures, and this is gonna be the home, you can start it wherever you want to. And the whole idea is to turn this into a creature. Maybe it has one eye, two eyes, no eyes, big giant mouth tentacles who knows big nostrils i have no idea you're going to make all that stuff up 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get real big on my on my shapes and use the reference that I had before to make to make my start. There's a so, question, is it supposed to be based off the plant we already drew? Yes, it is. So I want you to take some aspect of that plant in however you want to, and, you, and that's what you're gonna bring to life. All right. So we're gonna make it like a monster? Yes, a plant, cre well, a plant creature, whether you want it to be a monster or whatever you want to do. But yes, yeah, so the whole idea is to make it into a plant creature. So turn this thing into a, into something you can think plants versus zombies or little shop of horrors or something like that if you want to but that's what we're going to turn it into can we keep the thing that we're already using and just like add on to it like make it like a creature um so what i would do is i would do a new drawing and keep the one that you did of your original okay all right so if i notice on my plant it he has they have these mouths that kind of go up and I don't know if I'm going to show how many teeth ish whatever you want to call them the tentacle traps and his jawline I think one is probably going to have a beard and not just because Scott has a beard, but I also have a beard. And mine is not as righteous as Scott's, but it is a beard nonetheless. So. All right, so as you're building your creature, as you're building your creature, remember you can exaggerate all the features on it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go back and <clears throat> shorten up these and make them actual teeth instead of just those tentacly things. And uh, maybe he's missing a tooth. Maybe there's a story behind that. I don't know. And then this, this plant creature is going to have a righteous beard as some plant creature should. So the whole idea behind this exercise is to take something from real life, understand what it looks like in real life, and then apply your imagination to that to create something totally unique. A la Chuck Jones and his philosophy on creation and creativity. All right, so I'm just getting my, maybe the leaves are, maybe the leaves are like little glo little gloved hands. Like so. All right, remember you're basing it off. Thank you, Evie, absolutely. That is a righteous beard. And then uh, you can't see his eyeballs, but maybe he'll have some big nostrils. I don't know where his lungs would be. I'll put a little pair of lungs right here. Oh, look at that, a little pair of lungs. All right, and then a giant tongue. There we go. All right, so I'm just kind of roughing in what I got going here. This dude's got his mouth closed. And his teeth kind of come up over his jaw or his lip or whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go big eyeballs. 
almost like googly eyes. Is anybody a fan of googly eyes? I am a fan <coughs> of googly eyes. All right, this dude's just gonna go with the goatee. And I think it's gonna be a rock band. So I need a lead singer. So this dude's gonna have drums. No, this dude's gonna have a drumstick. <laughs> yes, googly eyes on everything. All right, drums. I'm gonna have his little drum kit that's gonna hang off. It's gonna be tied to a little I do a little thing that's on his, on the planter. This is kind of like the Evie, the kit Evie has behind her, but not as cool. All right, Mac, you need to quiet down. All right, and this dude's gonna have his guitar. It's gonna be like the Rock of Ages band. All right, then he's got his guitar. Does anybody play guitar? I do not play guitar. I have a guitar, but I don't play it. My dad does. Does he? My dad, he's gonna teach me electric guitar. Ooh, that's cool. That would be fun and interesting. I would, I would love at some point to learn how to play guitar because that just fascinates me. Well, I'm not worried about that at the moment. All right, so I've got kind of my my band coming together, right? And then this dude's gonna have his he's gonna have shorter teeth, and then he's gonna miss his two front teeth because he whistles and he can't whistle as well without with his two front teeth in. All right, so with some righteous eyebrows. There we go, and uh, I don't think he's, maybe we'll just do like a tiny mohawk. So no hair underneath, just a little hair on the top. And he will be holding a microphone. Wireless, of course. All right. Ooh, a lead puppy. He gets free guitars. Which wouldn't make sense for me because I don't really play them as much. All right, so I've got my rough sketch out, right? Here's my rough sketch of my... Of my um, yeah, yeah. Venus flytrap band. We're just going to call them I don't know, something. I'll figure out the name after this. Tater Tot's already thinking because I can see him typing. No, come on, Tater Tot. What's the name? The Bite. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm going to put it down here. The Bite. There you go. Tater Todd, you've named the band. All right, so as you guys are working on your stuff, it's... Tater Todd's pretty good at this. That's why, I've, that's why I just put the word out and then dude comes through. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us about another five minutes here. to con You can continue working on it as we start to call on people. But... Um, I am very much looking forward to seeing all of our creations. So here's what I want to do before I start to call on everybody is I want to get a view of everybody's stuff. So in five minutes, wherever you're at, even if you're not done, it's okay. We will take a picture of everybody's stuff and then we'll start to go around and you guys can show us individually what your plant creatures are. 
you know what, maybe he's got like a, hold on a second. I got, a, I got an idea. Yeah, Lee Puppy, give me one second and I will. This is gonna be a... He's gonna have in, in tribute. You can't see it all, but that's okay. He's got a lot of Scotta tattoo on his leaf. The lead singer does. <laughs> right there, buddy. That's for you. Okay. So I'm going to start to fill this in. Remember, as you're creating your plant creatures, there is no one way to do it. It's whatever you guys decide to do. And the whole point of drawing real life is to understand kind of the fundamentals of what we're creating and then to kind of bend those rules to make something off our own imagination. Um, yes, I could totally see these as puppets. All right. Let's get this in there and then I'll get his bot, his top teeth. You know, maybe one day, maybe one of these classes will deviate. And how many of you did the, uh, when we built stuff out of whatever we had around the house? I think a bunch of you did. Where we did a set building. And we just used whatever we had around the house. I'll bet, I'll bet we could do a puppet day where we make our own puppets out of whatever we have around the house. And I will give you plenty of heads up on that. But as we are doing our cartoon creatures and doing more of this kind of class as it goes on, um, maybe that's kind of one of the ways it manifests itself. If you all are interested in making your own puppet of your creature, then I will do the same. Yes, it could be out of a sock, out of whatever. Like, that's the whole beauty of it. It's, it can be anything. All right, here we go. So I got my guitar down. All right, so I'm gonna, here's my dude. I'm gonna fill in some dirt. We got some dirt in there. My camera's shaking a little. All right. So I'm, I got mine setting in. Everyone else is going to town, I can see, which is awesome. microphone in here real quick maybe we should make a a parody a cartoon out of venus flytrap singing because i think you're right evie i think we could do something with this and maybe this venus flytrap part of the band the bite which I think is brilliant, is actually singing the official Lot of Scott a Day song composed by Tater Tot, written by numerous other people. All right, eyebrows going in. Talk about speed drawing. We do need lyrics. I've been thinking about it. I'm just hearing the Little Shop of Horrors soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, it is like me. Yes, Seymour. All right. We'll give him a little, like, just right underneath his lip. There we go. He has to have some kind of facial hair. All right, so this is kind of my... Thing. I'll finish this as we go around the table. Um, so, our plant creatures. Um, here's what I want to do. Wherever you're at right now, and clearly I am not done either, so use me as an example. Um, I just want everybody to hold their creature up in front of the camera, if you would, real quick. Doesn't matter if you're not done. Just hold it up there. I'm gonna put mine right here. Yes, so that I can see everybody's real quick. So if you are, if your camera is off, 
if you if you feel comfortable go ahead and turn it on if not that's fine so just everybody hold it up real quick just so we can see it um charlotte if you can hold there you go nissi elite puppy can you hold yours up uh There's a couple other people that I can't totally see. I don't see the name, but if you've got yours ready, wherever it's at, even if it's not finished. All right, we got almost everybody, almost everybody. Almost. There we go. All right, you let me know when we're done. Perfect. Perfect. Got All right. it. Thanks guys. All right, let's go around the table because I see some super awesome creatures. Um, I'm gonna go down the list. Scott, I'm gonna let you pick. I'm gonna, I'll just start it off. I'm going to start with Vienna and Victoria. Okay. Um, ladies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love the fairy, too. Oh, thank you. That's cool. Okay, well done. Um, we got to me not. <laughs> Okay, fine. Okay. Vienna's still, still working? Oh, it's okay. Oh, dude, look at yours. <laughs> that looks awesome. Oh, thank you. I am continually impressed. Well done, ladies. Okay, thank you. And, Mom, I think I got the email, so you're good to go. Thank you. Wow, great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Charlotte? Charlotte. Okay, this is Kat and Laura, and we're in the same room as Charlotte, so we decided to turn her audio off, so you can hear her from us. And okay. She, I... We got a whole crew. It's a little monster mushroom I'm thing, I'm and I'm it's bigger <laughs> than this tower. It's I love it. Thing. So yeah. that's all. Well done. That's all I'm saying. So. All right, that's, that's okay. You did great. <laughs> So we'll right. just jump to Cat and the rest of the crew. Okay, let's jump to Cat and the rest okay. of the crew. So obviously I'm not done yet, but this is mine. And it's the stuff of this life going practice. I dig it. Look at that. Laura, you're next. Okay, so this is <laughs> mine. That so looks, far. I this love the bat the wings. Other drawing. <laughs> That is but great. Man. Based off of this cactus, and I just didn't color in the other one, so. Yes. Oh, wait, I'm ready. Okay, Sarah. This is oh. just. My I dig it, man. It's almost like a baby Groot, but like a baby cactus. Uh -huh. Yes. Very cool. I kind of liked how to draw a cactus a long time. <laughs> nice baby job, ladies. Groot. Nice job, ladies. Thank you. Thanks for bringing friends, Cat and Laura. Yeah, um, ta ta ta. Yes, Evie, absolutely. You can compose something. Oh, come on, dude. Those look awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So, I love the jacket too. Don't don't you have a character that you do that has kind of like that clothing? Yeah, that would be Pip. Yes, Pip. That's what I was thinking. I love it, dude. Well done on the mushroom design. Those Thank are you. cool. Absolutely. All right, where are we going to next? Uh, I don't see any hands, actually. Who wants to share? Oh, there's Janet. Here's Janet. Hey, Janet. Okay, so I did, um, like... <laughs> it's like the Killer Venus flytrap, and this is, um... Here's another one that I hadn't finished yet, and he just killed a fly. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it, man. Great imagination, dude. Love the color on those, too. Very good. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Sophie? Sophie. Okay. Okay, here's mine. I haven't finished coloring in the head. Oh, yes. I like the fact that he has a, is it an ax or a cleaver? It's a cleaver. Oh, see? And then he has like a robot arm right here. <laughs> so are those, tell me what's going on around his stomach area. So, this is just to fool people and make them think he's nice, and then that's actually his real face. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant. It's like those fish that have the light on them, you know, deep in the ocean, and they put the light out there, and it's just to distract. That's freaking cool, man. 
Love that. Thank you. And you signed it. Yep. All right, where are we going to next? Next up is Olivia. Olivia. This is my, like, good character. Cactus. Holy cow, man. Look at what you did. I love the color on it. I love the three eyeballs. What do we, do we have uh, claws at the end or are those like spikes? Yeah. Those are like the killer jaws. And the, the red ones are the killer jaws. Nice. So that's how it eats? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you, Olivia. Well done. Thank you. are welcome. You're, wel you're welcome. Next up is Yamaya. Yamaya. Hey, dude. I love the braids. Thank you. So, um, I made a cactus. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Covered in spikes. I love it. Can I see the face? Can I see the face one more time? Can you hold up? There you go. I love the face. Yes. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Nightmare Before Christmas and some of the creatures in there with how they do the eyes and stuff. Awesome job, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, that is a great film. Amaya, great job, dear. Wait, did I get that right? Isaac. Hey, here's, here's Isaac. Hey there. What's up, buddy? All right. So I saw this, and I immediately thought of an image called Plants and Pants. So I decided to draw this. <laughs> That's awesome. I think you're the only one that has put pants on the creature. You've got, <laughs> Tater Tot had the cloak. You've got the pants. That's awesome, man. That is hilarious. Love it. And it makes sense so. with cactus arms, right? Cactus arms, yeah. absolutely. All right. Well done, Isaac. Amelia. Hey. So I actually made a weapon. Button. How does I don't know English. You're okay. But dude. I did a little sketch how it will be like a mouse. Uh, oh, I like the I like the figure that you have. I love where? the dress and stuff too. That looks awesome, man. Oh, thank you. Well done. I love the color too. You guys did some good job on color in here. I didn't have enough time for color. All right, where are we going to next? Good job, Amelia. Up, Milani. Milani. Hey, dude. How's it going? Hello. I made a little mushroom. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. So, wait. Can I? Yeah. There. Oh, not, can I see one more time? All right. What's this? Tell me what this is. Are those all eyeballs? Yeah. <sighs> Man, can you imagine the bill for contacts for that creature? That would be insane. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you, Milani. All right, well going done. to Evie. Evie. <laughs> Wait, you got to hold it up a little closer. I love the cat at the end, too. Those look, I love how you pull off the cactus. It's almost like cactus rabbits. That's awesome, man. Well done. I dig it. Nice job, Evie. There's Liliana and Heather Rose. Ladies. Uh, I did a bunch. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I love the palm trees. Wait, do I have it right? Is it palm trees? Yep. Oh, those are cool. And I love the fact the coconuts are creatures. That is awesome. It reminds me of Moana and those little coconut dudes. That's cool. I can. I love the face too. It's like the Little Mermaid when she changes those people into like little seaweed plants. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness, dude! You know what I I dig? I dig the fact that you made the pot like the thing, and all the stuff comes out of it. That's awesome. Well done. Good job, ladies. All right. And here's what I drew. Oh, yes. I like all of them. So is it, there's a couple of references and I love like the little furry one at the bottom, right? This one? That, yeah, that came out cool. Like, they all came out cool. They have so many different 
features in each one of them. Well done. That guy's drawing kind of bush chicken. He's a bush yes. chicken. I love the oh, I like the little one. Come on, there you go. I love the little how that's that one's cute. That one's cute. Thank you. That one's probably the one that looks the cutest and then is the one that ends up eating everything. <laughs> All right, that's Kuar. Who is who's up next? Next up, Daya. Daya. Dia. 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 Sorry. Okay, thank you. Look at I didn't it. finish coloring it yet. That's okay. I love the color that you started with. Tell me what's going on. Like, so are there are there multiple different creatures coming off the one plant? Yeah. That's so cool. We've got one eye, and they're all one-eyed creatures. That's awesome, man. Thank you for. And did you say wait? Did you say Dia? Is that right? It's Dia. Dia. I'm sorry, Dia. Dia. Way to go, man. Thanks, Dia. Uh, Thanks, next Dia. up is Elite Puppy Tot. Elite puppy tot. Here's mine. It's a little hard. Oh, there you go. Right there. Oh, that's cool. So tell me about yours. So this is like a nuclear plant that got like released out of the lab because there was like something went wrong. They mixed the wrong substance and then this plant grew and like surrounded this building and there's like FBI here. That's awesome, man. Love the story. Great imagination. All right, Elite Puppy Tot. So uh, if you want, if we miss you and you did want to show, go ahead and just pop it in the comments so that we can see it. If not, I'm going to preview Thursday. So what I'm gonna put up on Thursdays class for myself is uh, an image for you guys to download and print off of a lemming. So you see the lemming on there as a picture. I'm actually going to make that like a PDF that you can download and then print out because we're all going to draw kind of like the same thing on the lemming part. And then because lemmings just follow everything else, right? We're going to do this army, this squad, this dance troupe of lemmings. I don't exactly know. We're, we'll figure that part out. Everyone will get to kind of tailor it how they want to, but we're going to take lemmings and we're gonna make them into multiple things. And it all has to be in a group, like because the, the group just follows itself. So maybe, it, yes, tater tot, maybe it's dance troupe lemmings, I don't know. Um, and maybe they're all doing, uh, you know, Michael Jackson with, um, why can't I remember the name right now? Scott, help me out, please. The most iconic- Thriller? Thriller? Thriller, thank you very much. Why couldn't I remember that? All right, um, yes, e wait, Evie, hold on a second um those are in the mail so yes ladies in the mail and off they go the the last one being being in victoria those those go out today um all right dudes so have a great afternoon i'm looking forward to lots of lemmings and wait nissy yes nissy uh, okay so i um i tried to finish it before, but I just like went over it with marker. But I did a sunflower, a deadly sunflower. <laughs> That's so awesome. I like the fact that you have a, it looks like a content one and then an angry one and then a super angry one. That looks great, man. This is their, uh, this is their leader. Oh, yeah. yes. I can so they, have, they all have little hairy arms. It's, I don't know why that just came to mind for me. Hey, you know what? Me, sunflower creatures could have hairy armpits. You never know. It's just the way they come out. Yeah. That's all. That that's what happens when they mutated. They something in the genes was just hairy armpits. That's awesome, man. All right. Well done, Nissy. Thank you. Oh, did you add a face to yours? Um, I added a face to the pot. Sweet. <laughs> That looks awesome. He's like having no deal with the whole thing and he's like acting nutso about the bee. And the pot's like, eh. He's not even concerned about it. He's like, whatever, man. He's like, I can't even move. What's the point? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, thank you for sharing, dear. All um, right, yes. The squad of four ladies, Kat, Laura, and friends. I think you guys are live at the moment. Did you want to show something? I saw a hand up. 
Oh, maybe not. All right. We're just staring. Okay. All uh, right. Okay. Actually, I, and I see another hand up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I added a taco truck. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I added a giant guitar statue. That's awesome. <laughs> I love the taco. I could go for taco trucks. Um, well done, Yamaya. Uh, let me respond one thing here. All right. So, dudes, next week, tater tot. Um, absolutely. It's not a dumb question. And yes, you can. Uh, my email is in the is in the string. So, uh, Amelia's I, hand is up. Who's? Charlotte was first. Oh, that's okay. We're gonna start with you, and then we're and then we'll go around. Uh, oh, uh, so you do you remember that tiny little girl? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. I'm kind of fast. Um, you did that just now. Yeah. Good night, man. You're quick. That's awesome. Thank you. I love it, man. I love, I love the, I love the figure that came out of that flower. I think that's, I think it's dead on, man. Way to go. Thank you. You are welcome. So I see Charlotte's hand. Yes, dear. Oh, I have a little flower. The, it, each of the design goes up and down because of the petals. I love that. Just like a flower. Just, and that's hard to get all those petals in. Well done, man. And it has a little... And I close the sugar and walk to the top. It's tongue is sticking out. <laughs> nice. I dig it. Very good. All right, dudes. Um, so a pleasure to have everybody on here. There was 30 some. And that's amazing. So welcome every and welcome um, people who are here for the first time. So great to have you guys here. Look forward to we got uh, Nalene is tomorrow doing some stuff. I'm back on Thursday. And we're going to do lemmings. We are going to change the world with an army of lemmings doing fantastical things. We're going to watch uh, drip along Daffy and and off we go. So yes, yeah, see you guys Thursday. And uh, Lee is on Friday for the last class of the week also. And then next week we have no classes because it is cartooning camp. So have a great afternoon guys and I will see you on Thursday. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.